Huge day for Northwest drivers because the West Seattle Bridge is finally back open. Yeah, it's been two and a half years of detours, but repairs are finally done. John Hopperstad is on the bridge right now where the first weekday commute is already underway. John, good morning. Good morning to you guys. Yeah, we're getting onto the bridge right now, and it's pretty smooth sailing uh, this morning so far. Not too much traffic taking a look right now uh, in our car cam. Some outside shots giving you an idea of what it's looking like and traffic moving along pretty good right now. The city of Seattle really doesn't know what to expect at this point because we've been through two years of a pandemic. People's commutes have changed, how they go to work, how they work has changed. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how many people actually use this bridge once again. But we know that at pre-pandemic levels, it was about 100,000 people a day. Uh, going across the West Seattle Bridge. So it's an important, vital road. Finally back open this morning. Reconnects people and businesses in that area with the rest of the city. A lot of people living and working in West Seattle kind of felt cut off the last couple of years. That changes today, though, as commuters can take the bridge once again. Seattle Department of Transportation spent more than $100 million to make the needed repairs here. They say they now have the most sophisticated monitoring system also of any bridge in the city. The bridge is fully instrumented. We are getting a 24-7 feed of data about the status of the bridge um, at all times, and we're going to continue to follow that. So as we cross the West Seattle Bridge this morning, you can see uh, traffic moving along good. We are gliding along at the speed limit here at 730 on a Monday morning. So maybe a lot of people still avoiding using the West Seattle Bridge. Sure, that's going to change, though, in the days and weeks to come. The bridge was actually closed because of cracks found in the concrete here. The city says, though, the repairs went well and they will last the lifespan of the bridge, which is another 40 years. So this morning, uh, we're able to travel it once again after a very long two and a half year wait, guys.